Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today, we're going to go in-depth to talking about kinematic, dynamic, and static objects. If you make and play mobile games, be sure to like and subscribe as I'm putting out content daily. One of the things I love about learning to make a game is just understanding how things work. Whether it's ambient light, direct light, and you go from this, I think I know what it is, to I totally know what it is. I was talking about this in one of my other videos when I was playing with characters and objects being dynamic. And the kinematic static is pretty straightforward, but understanding them will help you build a better, more efficient world in terms of speed and processing within your game. Going to Wikipedia, the definition of kinematics helps me grasp the understanding of kinematics. So kinematics is a branch of classical mechanics that describe the motion of points, bodies, and system of bodies without considering the forces that cause them to move. In a 3D game world that we're creating, kinematics doesn't take into account the physics that are applied in whatever world and does its own thing despite whatever the gravity may be, whatever the bounce may be, or the velocity. Whereas in dynamic, directly result in interacting with the world is affected by the physics, friction, bounce, and overall just takes up more processing power. I wanted to open up a build box template, Twisty Road, and I thought we would just play with this a little bit more to help visualize the difference. This one is static, no, this is dynamic, and this is kinematic. When starting the level, the ball will fall down because it has physics, oh, and it fell through the ground because the level pad doesn't have physics. So I can select this button, hit save, because it might crash again. And then we'll see that the ball moves down. See, the difference between the, the kinematic and static both have physics. However, oh, it's getting kind of dizzy. Kinematic object you can move around and the collision shape will move with it. So let's go in here and have a wake up spawner to the right. Here we have the kinematic object with a wake up spawner set to the distance of 100 to move at the speed of five. The dynamic ball will interact with both of these objects. However, the kinematic object has a collision editor that moves with it, whereas then if a static object moves, the collision editor does not move with it. And let me show that in effect. Wake up spawner, negative five, zero. And I'm actually gonna slow the speed of the character down a little bit. So now the static object will move to the left. The kinematic object will move to the right. The dynamic ball will be able to interact with the kinematic object, but not the moving static object. With the debug tool, you can see how the static object, the static object goes through the ball. See right there? The collision area of the static item stays still. Now all this stuff is important when you're making a level because both kinematic and static uses less processing power. You only want to have dynamic if needed because if you have a lot of dynamic objects in the game, now I'm going to save it and make a lot of balls here to show you how the processing power can slow down. Now whenever it crashes all the time, what I generally try to do is just try to find another way to accomplish my goal. It is fun to play around in these 3D worlds, that is a fact. Even though BuildBox crashes more than it should, I'm gonna save it right now. Speaking of crashes, is if these bugs can get worked out and people can start making actual games, that would be dope. Check out the physics and how things move slower when you have a lot more dynamic objects. It's actually not too bad. So if you like that video, please like and subscribe. I find learning about physics in 3D worlds and just understanding the mechanisms and mechanics of how things work will without a doubt help me build the fundamentals of a great game in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.